Hello, I'm Maya Pacheco, and I am a f I am a future Cass Lead student. I'll be I will begin my high school journey at Cass Lead High School in August as a remote learner. I chose Cass Lead because it's a good start to my business future, and I have already been in a part of Cass network activities such as summer studio, uh, talking to other members of the Cass communities, and talking to HEB executives. Thanks for joining us. For the safety of all, we're virtually open opening our doors. Stay tuned. We will announce raffle winners from our pop on by event we hosted earlier this month. Here to say hello is our very own Dr. Wendy Fuller, principal of Cast Lead. Thank you, Maria. Great to have student leaders like you. Uh, I'm Dr. Wendy Fuller, uh, principal at Cast Lead High School. The Centers for Applied Science and Technology, or CAST, partners with local school districts, such as East Central, to create schools that offer students a unique educational experience that sets them up for their futures. I'm in the newly renovated front office of John Glenn Elementary. The opening cast lead is important to me because I graduated from EC in 1993, go Hornets. Being one of triplets, my brothers and I began our actual education in kinder at John Glenn Elementary, which is now the future home of Cass Lead High School. So that is super cool. Um, Cass Lead High School is designed to provide students with transferable skills that will guide them through life. Um, over the next four years, students will learn skills through work-based learning, hands-on experiences and project-based learning, and meaningful learning opportunities facilitated by actual industry partners, which we're going to get to talk to a super cool one today, and eventually who they could potentially work for after graduation. So key skills include understanding customer service, obtaining the ability to give and receive feedback, developing social awareness, learning the importance of relationship and decision-making skills, and most important, developing a passion for servant leadership. Students will identify their strengths and develop a purpose while working through their opportunities to uncover their why. A day at CAST doesn't feel like a school day. Our class sizes are smaller, so our educators are able to customize learning for each student. Teachers will work as a team to ensure your student maximizes their learning potential and learns how to work as part of a team. Now back to you, Maya. Thank you, Dr. Fuller, for making us so virtually welcome. Now I'd like to introduce Mr. Tim Bishop, a new teacher here at Cass Lead High School. Uh, I'm Tim Bishop. Um, I'm teaching pre-AP English Language Arts and Writing this year. Uh, I chose Cast Lead because I believe in connecting learning with real world experiences. Um, and, you know, I believe in the power of relationships and how that can change our reality. Uh, I certainly believe in the power of students and children when it comes to uh, changing the world for the better, especially the world that they're about to inherit. And I know that that's exactly what Cast Lead stands for. So I, I'm, I feel super privileged to be a part of this organization and I feel super privileged to be a part of your year in 2020 and 2021. Um, so thank you very much. Next, I'd like to introduce Mrs. Vasquez, Cassidy's <laughs> Partnership <laughs> Development Specialist. She makes it happen for our students. Uh, as Maya said, my name is Caitlin Vasquez. I'm the Partnership Development Specialist at Cass Lee. Um, this is kind of a unique position for a traditional campus, but CAST campuses emphasize career and industry input. Um, both in the design of the curriculum and all throughout the school year. And so this was a really important position to have here on our campus because business and community is so important. So at CAST, students customize their experience so that every student is continuously challenged to find their purpose, advance their knowledge and reach their goals. So that's also part of my role is to make sure we're really matching students with their passions to figure out what they wanna do beyond our walls, which Obviously, you know, we go to high school for four years and then what's next? So we're going to really try to prepare them really early for that. As a career themed high school, we're going to prepare students for leadership positions in a couple different career pathways, including retail, hospitality and tourism, and e-commerce, so buying and selling online. During these times, during COVID-19 and post-COVID-19, our work in these industries, although maybe a little bit scary for those currently in hospitality, is more important than ever. CAS lead students will have the opportunity to redesign what the future of these industries look like, working with industry and higher ed, 
committed to their success, ultimately reinventing the industry in the future. So in four years, when these industries rebound, our students are going to be in the best position possible to really take these industries to the next level. So that's very exciting, and that's part of um, what we're doing here at Cal as well. So how the industry um, partners come in for the student level is students are going to work with industry partners who act as mentors and motivators on real world projects, building portfolios that are going to open the doors after graduation and just helping students map a pathway to find their career. So lots of questions they could ask them just about day to day life or, you know, what is it like in the day of, of what you do um, for work. So currently our campus works with about 30 industry partners and we're going to meet one of them today and this summer before our doors even opened we were able to provide three students paid internships so um, we were really excited to be able to offer that for our students through the cast network and with the help and support of our industry partners we're hoping to provide more and more of those experiences both throughout the school year and during the summer so without further ado i'd like to introduce you to one of our key industry partners katie chain HEB's Education and Workforce Program Manager to speak on her role as a partner and the many opportunities that come with being a partner. Hello all, thank you so much for joining us today. We're excited for us opening our next full cast lead. Yes, I work for HEB, I work on education and workforce initiatives, but more importantly, I'm an East Central grad, 1989, go Hornets, woo woo. So unlike when we went to school, you know, there were, there were options for us back then, but not near as many options as there are today for students. You know, Cast Lead is going to be able to offer these students even a better experience than we had back in the day, not just from a industry standpoint, but also from a class size standpoint, from the individual learning standpoint. You know, the teachers that we've hired for this school are fantastic. They truly care about the students. They truly care about people which is exactly what HEB looks for, but I can't recruit these teachers, so I have to leave them alone out there, so I'm gonna do that. But if I had a choice, I sure would take them. Every one of these, these um, teachers or instructors that are gonna be in the classroom are just amazing. They truly care, they want, they, their, their goal is that every student succeeds. And we all know that a student a student's succeeding looks different for every student. There's no one size fits all. So. You know, the, the class sizes, not, not only that, but the industry input. So as an example, industry gets to give input on all of the curriculum. So if there's an e-commerce course your student is teaching, taking, HEB or other companies that host, that do offer e-commerce options for customers are going to really be able to look at that curriculum and say, you know what, what you're teaching them is exactly what they need in the workforce and really validate that curriculum so that what they're learning makes sense when they get out of school. You know, a lot of students are gonna graduate from high school and they're gonna go on to college, but the reality is they're not all gonna go on to a four-year degree, and that's, that's just reality. So these kids will leave this program with the viable skills to go straight, in the workforce, straight into the workforce if needed. But not only that, if they go straight into the workforce, but they do wanna continue their education attainment, they can do that because the hospitality industry is known for flexible schedules. So a student could work at HEB, either in one of our stores at our corporate office and our manufacturing plants, and still continue their education while, while earning a good limit, living. So there are so many great options out there, and that's why it's so important for industry to be involved in this. I'm just one of the partners, but I'll tell you what, what we've seen with the other CAS schools that are already up and coming, we have our first class of seniors at CAS Tech. The students are amazing. We've taken them into IT type internships, and I'll tell you what, we bring them, we're going to bring them back every year because they are so smart and what they're learning is so focused on what industry needs. And I expect the same thing from Cast Lead. And no doubt with the leadership of Dr. Fuller, we will get that. And so, you know, there's, there's lots of other great reasons to love Cast Lead, but those are just some of the ones that I wanted to mention today. So if you have a student out there interested in a super fun learning environment, and picking up great skills that are going to help them no matter what industry they go into this could be a great option for your student thank you miss chain for your valuable contribution to cast lead development we look forward to learning from you i would like to introduce mrs kaylee jascula a new teacher here at cast lead high school all right hi everybody 
Hello, um, I am Kaylee Jaskula, and I'm going to be teaching math and hospitality and tourism. Um, I am joining you today from our newly renovated student center um, here at Cast Lead, and I can tell you right now the campus is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I cannot wait to see everything finished with all the teachers moved in, and more importantly, our brilliant students um, filling up the hallways and classrooms. So. I'm really excited to be part of Cast Lead. My background's in marketing, hospitality, and tourism. Um, I'm actually coming back to teaching because of the concept and the structure of Cast Lead and the students that um, we're gonna have the opportunity to work with here. You guys are awesome. Um, cannot wait to meet you in person and it's gonna be a wonderful year. Um, but now I'd like to share some of the pictures of our newly renovated space, including, um, a very welcoming front office that has a really um, big feel for hospitality and tourism. But um, if you'd been in John Glenn Elementary before, it's a huge difference. I also like to highlight the Student Center. Um, this is the actual location that Ms. Jasula is in. Um, amazing space. And some of our colorful classrooms we still have a couple of uh, finishing touches to add, but they, they look amazing. But what's also neat is we have um, a great outdoor space. And what I really like about this outdoor space is we can expand to the outside and maybe create some maker space and take that learning outdoors so we're not always inside. So if anybody's been to John Glenn Elementary, you know that the beautiful um, part with the oak trees and everything in the back is just, it's, it's a really nice um, environment. So I also wanted to give you an update on some of CAST Lead's future events to look forward to. So current CAST students will, all incoming ninth graders will participate in a Jumpstart Day um, where they get to connect and team build with other classmates and their teachers and they're gonna to get to log in and see some of the programs we're using so that that first day jitters isn't so bad. Um, and also we will have a parent orientation. We're gonna record the video and offer it so parents can watch, because um, I know that right now scheduling and timing and everything is really hectic. So we're really trying to accommodate parents um, any way we can. Also, what makes Cast Lead I think a little bit different is in designing all year long, industry was very um, upfront that they want their future employees, CAS lead students, to have that social emotional learning and awareness and be able to build relationships. Um, so our industries and our pathways lend a lot towards customer service, but they also were, were you know, want students to be able to take care of themselves and stress relief strategies, just different things that they could help. So we will focus a good portion on social emotional learning, but we will also provide a connection to work and industry where those skills that you take can be transferred in any industry. And so I know that uh, Ms. Chain kind of expanded a lot on that, but as you see, she has some great personable skills and that's why we love her and she really is able to connect students to some of those industry partners even if it isn't HEB so that's why we love her and thank her but um, now I'd like to introduce Mr. Gibson. Hello everybody it's good to see you all glad y'all could join us I am Mr. Gibson I will be bringing the social sciences to this with the social studies um, with this, with LEAD and how important um, understanding not just how our fellow man and where we have come from with history and things is, uh, it's going to be instrumental to have an understanding of, of the social sciences, psychology, sociology, and our history in, in and of itself. So um, I'm really looking forward to bringing um, my brand of, uh, you know, knowledge to the classroom and uh, get this going. Our new teacher, Cass Lead, Ms. Viejo. Hello everyone, my name is Numi Vallejo and I'm gonna be teaching uh, biology. I am so excited to be part of Cast Lead because this is, uh, as an educator, I am passionate on providing the best experiences for my students so they can be ready for real world experiences. And this will have 
so many of those experiences and with problem-based learning and collaboration. So we are so excited to be working with you guys and providing you all these great opportunities. I'd like to personally thank everybody for joining us today, um, especially Maya, our great facilitator, and Miss Katie Chain, our wonderful industry partner. Um, they're very important part of our school success, but I'd also like to give a shout out to the CAST Network. Um, we couldn't have done it without them. And of course, um, Caitlin Vasquez, my partnership, but of course the amazing teachers that took time out today to take part in this first annual virtual open house for CAST LEAD. Um, so if you'd like more information, you can visit ECISD.net, um, our website, or castschools.org for more information. And we also have, um, you can contact myself or Caitlin for more information if, about applying if need so. But I would like to open it up if anybody has any questions they'd like to ask before we close out today. We did have one question uh, pop up in the chat. Um, and so we'll go ahead and address those chat questions. But then again, if you would like to come on screen, you can do that as well. Uh, so one question was, can you tell us an example about a typical day for a CAS lead student, what that may look like? Um, well, I think, um, Caitlin, if you wanna jump in as well and answer, um, but with project-based learning, what makes it unique to CAST is all teachers work together. So it's not like learning any one subject in isolation. So when you come to campus, yes, you're gonna have a schedule. We still meet all the graduation and credit requirements and all of that, and still offer all the same programming like dual credit, et cetera. But what's important is it's very collaborative. So it's very student led. So students have time to collaborate and work on a project. So they may work on that for a period of time and then they may go coordinate with two different teachers and get feedback so there's time throughout the day it's very flexible um, and it's based on what they need and so in that sense it's very personalized um, so if there's time to collaborate and work together and present then we do that if there's time to zoom call with an industry partner to get feedback or work with your teacher one-to-one -one, it's what you need it's very personalized so that's a little bit more how project-based learning can support a more flexible learning environment. Great question, thanks. Um, I have a question for, for Ms. Jaskula. Um, so what do you think that you'll be teaching us about hospitality and tourism? actually going to defer to um, Dr. Fuller a little bit to talk about this, um, but you know, we, we still have to teach what the standards are for that course, but what we're bringing, oops, excuse me, what we're bringing to Cast Lead is um, a whole connection to real world hospitality and tourism situations. Um, that's one of the reasons I'm super excited to be here is because I have a lot of industry experience in um, in that arena and I'm excited to share it with you, Maya, and with um, our other CAST students. But I don't know if Dr. Fuller, you wanna add on to that as no, well. I think that is um, one of the reasons, you know, we picked you is because of your experience and your passion. And so I think what you'll find across all CAST lead teachers is the fun personality, they bring to the table, but they're passionate about providing those unique experiences and connections to kiddos. So it's that willingness, willingness to say, hey, there's no barrier. Let's see if we can get to it. We can reach that goal. And so that across the board, and, and, and I can let either Mr. Bishop or Mr. Gibson jump in, I think they each have this expertise and knowledge that we saw and I really see that y'all can see just from meeting Miss Jaskala that she's very warm and inviting. And a lot of those characteristics go with the hospitality and tourism and some of the industry partners that we're currently working with. So she fits as a good part of our team. And I think what we see here in CAST Lead is a team. And we're very much a team of teachers 
where they will touch every single kid that comes to cast lead in the sense that one or two subjects will be taught by that teacher. So the relationship, the social emotional connection is really there to support. I know this has been challenging during COVID, but we're hoping to really break down some of those barriers so that students can continue to seek goal, personal goals, set a purpose, and so forth. So excellent question. Uh, and if I could, I mean, just to just to kind of jump in and add on, you know, with I know with project-based learning, a lot of um, a lot of what you're going to be dealing with is the process of getting to a product, and not so much just what the end goal is. You know, I mean, we we if we come from a traditional school, you constantly think, well, I got to learn so I can take a test. Actually, the test is the learning, right? So we're we're going to be learning something new every day, and um, you know if there's a, a small tweak that you want to get feedback because the teaching team is just that a team, you can come to each of us, Maya, and get something new um, and constantly defer to, um, you know, a trusted source and get, you know, um, alternate perspectives. So uh, we're, we're all going to rally around as a teaching team to make sure that you as an individual and every other one of your classmates is getting the best possible experience and I'm, I'm super and I'm, I'm excited about learning some of this stuff too you know so uh, um, I'm going to be learning next year which is going to be a lot of fun so uh, please have a whole bunch of questions that I don't know answers to so I can go find out with you. This is 100% this is going to be one of those that I think we uh, um, as a team come together and start really making some magic with the students and the students are going to be an aspect of that team. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Aiden, or Aiden, I don't wanna mispronounce your name, but uh, did you wanna come on and ask your question, sir? Yes, he's gonna ask it right now. We were trying to wait till everybody was done. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, so like what kind of credits, what, what kind of credits are we gonna get from this program? Like, um, are we gonna get like our foreign language, our PE, stuff like that? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. So you still would have to meet all of the graduation requirements for high school but you would still have access to pre-AP courses. Um, now our electives are gonna focus on pathways in hospitality, tourism, e-commerce, and retail management. But again, I'll defer to the transferable skills. You're gonna get direct connections with industry partners that are gonna provide you with opportunities early on as a ninth grader. So you're gonna get to explore a lot of different things in a smaller setting. But yes, you'd still have to meet your PE credit and all of that. But what's unique about Cast Lead is we're right next door to East Central High School. So if there's potentially like an extracurricular or athletics that you want to participate in, we have access to that pro those programs over there as well. So good question. Okay, Thank is you. there, uh, I'm his mom, I have a question. Um, so is there a way to like, I don't, I don't know, I guess, I guess I'm trying to say, look up like a syllabus of how it actually plans out. I'm more of a, a planner. <laughs> so I yeah. want to know kind of like a little bit more of how the structure works, if that makes sense. You bet. I can definitely uh, send you a four-year plan with a little bit of an outline, if that would help. And then you guys can make the decision from there. I have another question. Um, so if the coronavirus doesn't slow down and we have to go virtual, how do you think that would work out? So currently, um, our CAST model has a very strong, um, I don't want to say online learning because it's so much more, but whatever we can provide remotely to you guys or in person will look the same. So you would have access to all of those and that's part of the jumpstart day as an incoming ninth grader. Whether you're in person or you're LinkedIn via Google Meet or Zoom, you're gonna get access to the same interactions. So you're still gonna have that robust learning access. I hope that makes sense, Maya. Good question, thank you. All right.
Do we have any more questions? All right, so again, I'd like to thank everybody um, for joining us today and thank you for making our first annual Cast Lead virtual open house a success. And I wish everybody the best and take care. Thank you for coming.